The tenants declared victory as the city council voted to secure a loan to buy this 124-unit apartment building. But there's a lot of unanswered questions about this one. Will the property owner sell? Will the city have to use its powers of eminent domain? And how much will this really cost? Okay, let's go ahead and prepare to vote on item number 12 as amended. Open the roll. Close the roll and tabulate the vote. 12 ayes. And with that, the city of Los Angeles unanimously declares its intention to buy this Chinatown apartment building. Before the vote, Councilman Gil Cedillo said the law is on the city's side to make the move to preserve affordable housing. It is unprecedented, but we do it for airports, we do it for stadiums, we do it for major public works projects. And so now is the time for us to move forward and to do it as part of an overall strategy to protect affordable housing. The vote sent tenants of the Hillside Villa apartments into the rotunda to celebrate. The victory came with a three-year fight when the property owner increased tenants' rent, sometimes double or triple. As you can see, it says that my rent, oh, sorry, it's going to go up to $2,666. The property owner could do that because the building was built with Community Redevelopment Association funds with a 30-year agreement to keep rents affordable. But that agreement ended, and the same is coming true for as many as 10,000 units across the city. What we do is not just the right thing to do. It's obviously the moral thing to do, but it's also legally sound. But the owner, Tom Botts, told Fox 11 News last year he's not interested in selling. I've been through many fights in my life, and one more is not going to hurt me. He's been quoted as saying he'd be more interested in converting all 124 units to Section 8. That would give tenants subsidized rents, but that's not the solution for tenants like Alejandro Gutierrez. I don't qualify uh, for Section 8 because of my income, but I cannot afford the market rate that this landlord wanted us to pay. Mm -hmm. So I'm like in the middle. Well, multiple calls to the property owner's attorney who was at the city council meeting today went unanswered, but a letter to the council, Michael Leifert detailed the erroneous assumptions by the council when they made this move. He says that nearly half of the units here in this apartment building already Section 8. Also goes on to say that in order to buy the property and then rehab and repair each unit could cost 700 to 800 thousand dollars again per unit reporting live in Chinatown I'm Susan Hirasuna Fox 11 news